All right, we're leaving the Bar Harbor, Maine area, heading to Canada. We've been to Canada twice back last summer when we were in Montana near Glacier across there and went into Waterton Lakes National Park of Canada. But that was just in the Jeep. This will be our first, first time, time taking the rig across the border. And uh, we are, we're, we'll let you know how that goes. Let's get on the road. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm just fabulous. How are you? You need ID too? Uh, just your passport. Just the passport. That's, that's driver's licenses you have? Yes, sir. Where do you live? We live in Tennessee. What's the purpose of your travels to Canada today? We're going to uh, do the whole tour Vacation. thing. Nova Scotia, we're vacationing. Okay. Where about some Nova Scotia are you going? We're going to uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, St. Edwards Island, and then back to Quebec and down. We're just going to explore your country a little bit. We're really you excited. Been to before? We have. Well, I say I say we haven't, but we drove into what was the name of the place last year? Waterton Lakes, Lakes, Lakes above Glacier, above Glacier National Park. Okay. That's the only place we've ever so been. Do you know where in each province you're going to exactly? We have um, campsites already set up. Yes, sir. Okay. Whereabouts? Here comes the travel engineer. Yeah. Okay. Can I just hand you my phone? No, it's okay. It's okay. Do you have campsites booked all around? We do. Everywhere. Campsites, Every boondockers, welcome all the way through everywhere. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and what was that third province? Uh, St. Edward's Island. Prince Edward. Prince Edward. It's not a pro Prince Edward's Island? Prince Edward Island. Okay. What do you do for a living? We're retired. Yeah. We travel for a living. So how long is you for? 34 days. Yes, sir. Are you full time in the RV? No, sir. We have a home base. How uh, how many months of the year do you leave in the RV? Probably about nine ish. So more than half. Mm-hmm. So you got any tobacco or nicotine products? Mm -hmm. We don't smoke. We're smarter than that. The cannabis, cannabis containing goods. No, sir. Do you own a fire? We do. Where are they? At our home in Tennessee, at our condo. Inside the vehicle? No firearms in the vehicle. Anything for personal protection, pepper spray, maze, maze. How many currencies on board the vehicle? How much currency? 200, maybe about 350. Okay, nowhere near $10,000. Oh, no. Anything to stay in Canada? Any gifts to drop off to anybody? No. What's the license plate on your RV? Uh, who's that paper here? Let her, she's going to scratch. I got her. Yeah. Okay. The license plates on the RV is... And I have the Jeep here too if you need those. Okay. Enjoy your trip. Thank you so much. that was quick and easy to get across the border just asked several questions nothing real hard uh, we are in New Brunswick Canada Woo! we've taken quick jaunts across the Canadian border from Glacier into Waterton uh, Lakes National Park of Canada so we crossed into there twice before but this is the first time with our rig so we are excited we've got a 34 day trip planned around New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island, and cut through Quebec, back down in the U.S. at uh, New York or Vermont, somewhere around there. So let's enjoy. So we made it across the border and we're on to our first stop in St. Andrews by the Sea, New Brunswick, Canada. Our first stop is to get set up at our Boondockers Welcome location. So this is the first time we've had an issue when we've got to a Boondockers Welcome place. Um, one second. They had planned on us and Medina and Tommy staying here. 
there is no way we will all fit. We've decided we're gonna go hunt down a campground and we're leaving our boondockers welcome and headed to a campground. So after our border crossing today and then also our little mishap with our boondockers welcome, Danny decided it would be very wise to take me to dinner tonight and not make me cook dinner. So we are currently in St. Andrews by the Sea in New Brunswick. And we're in a restaurant that's called Gables. I had to look down, I'm very tired. Gables. Uh, looking very forward to their fish and chips. Now, something else they don't tell you when you come up here is the time change. Because since we left our home base in Tennessee, we have lost two hours. <laughs> yep, which we slowly went, so we, don't, we won't yep. be able to tell much of a difference. We'll be able to tell a lot. We went from Central and was in the Eastern time zone for weeks, and now we'll spend about a month in the Eastern, in the Atlantic time zone. This is our first time ever being in the Atlantic time zone. At least it's mine. Is it yours? Yes. Now, I'm going to show you the view from our restaurant because it's really pretty cool. We don't get to see this very often in Tennessee. So after dinner, we decided to explore the main street of St. Andrews by the Sea, which is called Water Street. With the tide out, a little bit of rough boat ramp. So here in New Brunswick, we're at the Charlotte County Jail. And it was built in 1832. And guess how long they kept prisoners here? or what year they ceased keeping prisoners here. 1979. So we'll show you some of the pictures of uh, a video of inside and how cramped it was, no light, no heat, just here in Canada during the winter and they had little slits for windows. So it's crazy. And as Tommy said, with one million mile road trip, who's former law enforcement, never seen any jails in the United States like this. Uh, so they did have several, uh, inquiries to try to shut it down. They finally shut it down in 1979. She was then accused of the murder of her husband, um, who was a quite old man who was in very bad health. And um, there was no evidence for this murder, but they tried to hold her again. 
And uh, while she was in here, she actually managed to leave pregnant. <laughs> she was in here for about four months, I believe it's what's in there. Wow. Which, and you might be able to squeeze through here. Well, the idea is that you step in sideways, uh, which, and it's hard to run because that's the idea, is that you keep people in. And then they have the block at the bottom to make you stumble if you try to run out. It's oh, actually wow. called a stumbling block. Oh, wow. You've heard of stumbling blocks before. Yes. Yeah. So that's the stumbling block. If you love history and old houses, Sheriff Andrews House is a place for you to stop while you're in St. Andrews by the Bay. It was built in 1820 by the High Sheriff Elijah Andrews and it's fully decorated in the timepiece, in the time period. And the cost to get it in is just a donation, so it's well worth it. You are visiting our home. It is the 1820s, and all we have is bread. I hope that's enough. Oh, we could milk the goat, <laughs> but that's all we've got. I'm sorry. So now's the time for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Next week, we're actually going to drive on a ocean floor to an island called Minister's Island. It's one of the coolest things we saw on the whole trip. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV, America.